This is calculator question number 24 from the May 2019 International SAT exam. College Board gives us a table of values for a linear function and they ask for the x-intercept. I'm going to write the equation for the function f of x equals mx plus b where m is the slope. And I see when x goes up by 1 from negative 11 to negative 10 or negative 10 to negative 9, f of x is going down by 3. So the slope is negative 3 f of x equals negative 3x plus b, where b is the y-intercept. Remember, they're asking for the x-intercept, not the y-intercept, so b will not be our answer. And I can substitute in any point. I'm going to go with the first point. f of x is 21, when x is negative 11. So 21 equals 33 plus b. If I subtract 33 from both sides, I get b equals negative 12, which tempts us to go toward choice d, but remember b is the y-intercept. f of x equals negative 3x minus 12. And if I try, let's try x equals negative 10. That would be f of x equals negative 3 times negative 10 is 30. minus 12 is 18, and that works. So I found that two points are on this, the equation this line, the one I used to find b, and this one I just checked. Let's find the x-intercept. The x-intercept is the x value when y is 0. So 0 equals negative 3x minus 12, or 3x equals negative 12 dividing by 3 x equals negative 4 when y equals 0. That would be choice B. Always read the questions carefully. In this case we're looking for the x-intercept rather than the y-intercept and in finding the equation I found the y-intercept first but then I continued to answer their question. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.